Welcome back to another episode of Ancient Civilization Fatherhood. Today, we're diving deep into the world of ancient Egypt and exploring the fascinating role of dads and men in this incredible society. We will talk about how fatherhood was perceived and practiced in ancient Egypt and uncovering some surprising and shocking truths along the way. So sit back, relax, and get ready to travel back in time to a world where fatherhood looked a little bit different than it does today. Imagine this. Ancient Egyptians had an unusual way of testing if a man was fit to be a father. They would give him a crocodile to carry around for a day. If he returned with all his limbs, congratulations, he was now deemed worthy of being a dad. I mean, who needs a parenting book when you can just carry a crocodile around? But let's get to the raw truth, shall we? Let's start with the fact that ancient Egyptian fathers were not exactly the picture-perfect role models we might imagine. In fact, some of them were downright terrible. Many fathers had multiple wives and concubines, which often resulted in children being neglected or treated unfairly. Moreover, fathers were known to use their children as pawns in political games, forcing them into marriages or using them as leverage to gain power. But, the biggest issue with ancient Egyptians' fatherhood was their attitude towards disabilities. Children with disabilities were often viewed as a burden on their families and society as a whole, and fathers were known to abandon or even kill their disabled children. Ancient Egyptians' fatherhood had a dark side, and it's not something that is widely talked about. For example, did you know that fathers in ancient Egypt had the power to sell their children into slavery or even kill them if they deemed them unworthy or disobedient? It's true, and it's a testament to how little value children had in ancient Egyptian society. Children, especially daughters, had little to no agency over their lives. They were expected to obey their fathers and were often married off at a young age without their consent. Furthermore, fathers had the power to disown or abandon their children, leaving them vulnerable to poverty and social exclusion. Now I know I've been a bit inappropriate so far, so let's bring in some humor, shall we? Did you know that ancient Egyptian fathers used to give their daughters onions on their wedding day? Yes, you heard it right, freaking onions. Apparently, it was a symbol of fertility and was believed to ward off evil spirits. I don't know about you, but if my father gave me onions on my wedding day, I would be pretty disappointed. But not all fathers were tyrannical. Some were kind and nurturing, and they valued the bond they shared with their children. They would teach them the skills they needed to survive in the world, and they would provide them with love and support. These fathers were role models, and their teachings have stood the test of time. One of the most notable aspects of ancient Egyptian fatherhood was the importance placed on education. Fathers were responsible for teaching their children a wide variety of skills, from reading and writing to hunting and fishing. This emphasis on education helped to ensure that future generations would be well prepared to take on the challenges of life. Furthermore, fathers in ancient Egypt were not only responsible for their immediate families, but also for their extended families. This included elderly parents, siblings, and other relatives. This sense of responsibility and duty to one's family is a value that we could all benefit from today. In addition to education and family values, ancient Egyptian fathers also played an important role in the spiritual and moral development of their children. They taught their children about the gods and goddesses, as well as the importance of living a good and moral life. Overall, ancient Egyptian fatherhood was characterized by a strong sense of responsibility, duty, and love for one's family. While it may have had its flaws, it's important to recognize the positive aspects of this ancient culture and learn from them. Now, let's switch gears a bit and talk about something lighter. Did you know that ancient Egyptian fathers used to shave their entire bodies to get rid of lice and other parasites? Yes, you heard it right, even their heads. I guess you could say that ancient Egyptian fathers were pioneers of manscaping. But let's get back to the serious stuff. Fatherhood is a responsibility, and it's not something that should be taken lightly. It's our duty as a society to protect children from abuse and neglect, and to ensure that fathers are held accountable for their actions. We also need to work towards a more equal and just society, where all individuals, regardless of gender, are treated with respect and dignity. So how can we implement these teachings in today's society? We can start by recognizing the importance of fathers in our families. Fathers need to provide for their families, protect them from harm, and pass on their wisdom to their children. But they should do so with kindness and compassion. Fathers should value the bond they share with their children, and they should provide them with the love and support they need to thrive. We can also learn from the mistakes of ancient Egyptians. We need to recognize that fathers should not have complete control over their families. Women and children should have agency, and they should be able to speak up if they feel oppressed. In conclusion, ancient Egyptians had a complex relationship with fatherhood. Some fathers were tyrannical, while others were nurturing. We can learn from their teachings by recognizing the importance of fathers in our families while also recognizing the need for kindness and compassion. 
By implementing these teachings, we can create a society where fathers are valued and families thrive. So what do you think? Leave a comment below and let us know how you plan to implement these teachings in your life. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Ancient Civilizations Fatherhood. I hope you enjoyed the unique and engaging content we shared about fatherhood in ancient Egypt. Now, as we come to the end of this episode, I want to urge you to check out our previous episodes about fatherhood in other ancient civilizations such as the Greeks, Romans, and Vikings. By watching these videos, you will gain a better understanding of how fatherhood evolved over time and how it continues to shape our society today. So what do you think? Leave a comment below and let us know how you plan to implement these teachings in your life. But it's not just about watching the videos, it's about joining our community of people who are passionate about learning and understanding ancient civilizations and becoming better parents ourselves. By watching these videos, we're not only gaining knowledge about how fatherhood has evolved throughout history, but we're also learning valuable lessons that we can apply to our own lives as parents. Join us in our quest to become better parents and to explore the fascinating world of ancient civilizations. Our community is full of like-minded individuals who are eager to learn and grow together. Together, we can build a better future for ourselves and our children. So don't hesitate, hit that subscribe button and join the Ancient Civilizations Fatherhood community today. We can't wait to learn and grow with you.